मुझे भी और ये सब स्टेट संघर्ष का था यू कैन स्पीक अबाउट वेर यू वेंट दर्शन अनंत बासुदेव और एकांत रखानन और और व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग स्पीकिंग इन क्लासेज अबाउट दैट एनी सब्जेक्ट इस उत्तर के Shruti Gatan Tanavan Manobir 
ye praya so jita ajito yasi taistri lokyam. So jnane prayasa. This attempt to understand the Supreme Lord simply by the process of the intelligence to try to stretch our intelligence to the limits of understanding the absolute nature of the Lord, his transcendental opulences, and to try to comprehend how the Supreme Lord uh, is the Supreme Adhoksaja in the transcendental region. It is not possible for a limited living entity, for a jiva soul, to go to the uh, limits of the, in, the unlimited infinite. This is not possible. But yet, in the preliminary stages, it is suggested, yes, through the attempts of mixing karma with bhakti and mixing jnana with bhakti, some progress can be made on those stages. But when one wants to come to the level of pure bhakti, shuddha bhakti, anya vilashita shunyam bhakti, oh, then this begins at jnane prayasa, giving up this attempt, udapasya namanta eva, and simply surrendering. Jivanti san mukaritam bhavadiya varitam, and accepting, adapting the most favorable process. Jivanti san mukaritam, living in the association of the uh, mahat, the great personalities from whose lotus mouths a transcendental rivers of nectar are flowing uh, of harikata. And in this association, stane stita shrutigatan tanuvan manobir, completely devoting one's body, mind, words, under their guidance, and remaining in that association, remaining in one's position in life, uh, but adapting this favorable process of hearing. And through this process, ye prayaso ajita jitopi asi taistri lokyam, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is uh, ajita, he cannot be conquered, he cannot be controlled, he is the Supreme Controller. Ishwara Parama Krishna, Sachidananda Vikraha, Anadi Radi Govinda Sarva Karana Karana. He is controlling all controllers. So how is it possible to control him? He is Ajita, unconquerable. But Lord Brahma Ji is telling that by this process, oh, then he becomes Jitta. He becomes conquered by the devotee. So in a very beautiful way, this discussion has led to this particular level uh, in which the process that is most relevant for the soul, he does not need to endeavor. There is no necessity to separately try to acquire Brahma Gyan, uh, try to become Brahma Bhuta Prasanatva, as we heard, to mix Gyan with Bhakti, to try to realize the, the uh, transcendental nature of the soul. But through the process of pure hearing from the self-realized, the, the lips of the self-realized soul, then automatically within the heart, all this knowledge, all this realization, it will be inculcated within the heart automatically. So there is the uh, process that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was satisfied. Yes, now this is good, what you are speaking. Now develop this point further. And as we will hear, Srila Ramananda Roy, now he will go into the discussion of pure bhakti and developing in the transcendental line of relationship with Krishna, coming into uh, Dasya Bhav, Sakya Bhav, Vatsalya Bhav, and ultimately into Madhurya Bhav. So from this point now, there is the possibility of actually cultivating the pure relationship with Krishna, with no mixture of anything else. No karma, no jnana. Jnana, karma, anabritam. Not covered at all by any other extraneous uh, endeavors and desires. And only anukulyena krishnanushilanam. Now only the positive 
favorable cultivation of activities which are purely meant for the satisfaction of Krishna with one's body, mind, words, and also one's emotions. Now this process has been suggested by Ramananda Roy. So we will hear from Srila Gurudev this evening how Sri Ramananda Roy is going to suggest uh, to uh, develop one's relationship with Krishna in different transcendental rasas. And this is the most auspicious opportunity to hear in the transcendental dham, Sri Jagannath Puri dham, in the assembly of the Vaishnavas and under the guidance of a pure devotee of Krishna, Rasik Vaishnava. Now we will hear these transcendental topics by the mercy of Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. सम धर्म से लेकर वैष्णव वैष्णव धर्म त्याग कर्म विश्वास भक्ति ज्ञान विश्वास भक्ति निहो बाज्य इसके बाद में ज्ञान सुनने भक्ति इस संबंध में बतलाया महाप्रभु जी ने निहो हाल आगे कहा आप फिर आगे कहा इस तरह से धीरे धीरे दे चल रहे हैं जब काते काते ज्ञान सुनिया भक्ति सात दस साल कहा तो महापुरुष जी ने यहाँ कहा सीओ और आगे कहा क्यों कहा इसमें जीव के स्वरूपानुबंधी सिद्ध सेवक का भाव यहीं से आरंभ होता है कि वहीं तक समाप्त नहीं हो जाता ये अभी प्रारंभ होगा और जहां सिद्ध सेवक का भाव है 
सेवा की वासना का भी इंगित पाया जाता है इससे पूर्व में ब्रह्म और जीव का ऐक्य ज्ञान का गंध था इसलिए यो वाज्य कहा और जहां पर भक्ति के अनुकूल वासना के अनुकूल सेवा की का इंजीन है वहां पर उन्होंने कहा हो है यह मैंने प्रारंभ हो गया आगे तो हम आज इसका मतलब यही अभी तो आरंभ हुआ ही यहां क्या आरंभ हुआ भक्ति के अनुकूल संबंध क्या नित्य सेवक और सेवक का भाव और उसकी सेवा की भाषण यहां से ही आरंभ हुआ विशेष करके अभी कल हम लोगों ने अनुशीलन किया बताया सुनिया भक्ति से ज्ञान कर्म आदि सुनिया भक्ति से भगवान वशीभूत हो जाते हैं ज्ञानी प्रयास जीवन किंतु हर कथाओं कथाएं उनको मंत्र मुक्त कर देती है इसलिए उनको भी जीता जा सकता है वशीभूत किया जा सकता है किंतु इसमें एक चीज साफ नहीं हुआ क्लियर नहीं हुआ क्या क्या भगवान की कथा सुनने मात्र से ही भगवान वशीभूत हो जाते हैं क्या भगवान भगवान की कथा सुन रहे हैं और वशीभूत हो गए और क्या सब जगह संभाव से वशीभूत होते हैं हर कथा सुनते 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 जब चित्त निर्मल हो जाता है और अपराध के बाद भी क्या समस्त अनर्थ दूर हो जाते हैं चित्त निर्मल हो और प्रशांत हो जाता है तब उसमें कृष्ण सेवा की वासना श्रद्धा उत्पन्न तो होती है और फिर निष्ठा भजन क्रिया देखता है गुरु पदा से और फिर निष्ठा और निष्ठा से अनुसार रुचि आशक्ति आशक्ति में ममता रुचि होती है इसलिए तत्ना करने का तात्पर्य यही है कि ये प्रक्रिया में वो आ जाता है और अधिक विलंब नहीं और दूसरी बात वर्षता की भी वैचित्र है तारतम्य है जितना ही प्रेम होगा उतना ही ममता आएगी ममता जितना होगी प्रेम भी उतना होगा बिना ममता के प्रेम नहीं होता प्रेम होगा ममता जहां ममता नहीं है भक्ति भी रति भी पांच प्रकार की मानी गई शाम दास सत्सल इसमें 
ये देखो शांत बैकग्राउंड ही अलग ही है इसमें ममता नहीं है निष्ठा है निष्ठा है कैसी निष्ठा है कृष्ण को छोड़ करके और कहीं भी उसकी निष्ठा नहीं बस कृष्ण में एकमात्र उसकी निष्ठा है उसमें ममता नहीं है प्रेम किसको कहते हैं उदाहरण के लिए समझो पानी बिना मछली और जल बिना चाद नहीं रहेंगे छटपट करके प्राण छोड़ देंगे मछली को बाहर रखो न प्रेम गंधों की तरह तुम्हें हरूष और भक्त भाग धारण प्रकाशित बंसी बिलास अवलोकन बिना विभक्त जब प्राण पतंग कान वृथा ये भाव आए प्रेम कहा है ये कौन कर रहा है महापुरु कर रहे हैं या राधा जी कर प्रेम कहा है तो मछली जैसे तड़पते हुए मर जाए चातक और पानी बरसे नदी नाले के पानी है नदियों का समुद्र का पानी है नहीं दिएगा स्वाति नक्षत्र का ही पानी दिएगा चाहे प्राण निकल जाए इसी तरह से शांत रस वाले जो है उनकी निष्ठा है कृष्ण के कृष्ण को छोड़ करके और कहीं नहीं उनकी निष्ठा इसलिए उनको भी मजा भक्ति रस क्यों माना गया है तो शांत शांत मम बुद्धि निश्चित और कृष्ण ही कनिष्ठता शांत स्वरूप बुद्धे कृष्ण कृष्ण ही कनिष्ठता समो निश्चता बुद्धे इतिश्री मुख काता कृष्ण बिना कृष्ण त्याग तारकार्यमान अतएव शांत कृष्ण भक्ति जाए शांत मन क्या ममता दीदी निष्ठा है कृष्ण में तो अभी इसको मान दिया क्यों एक रस और कृष्ण में निष्ठा शांत रस का उदाहरण समझो जैसे गाय है गाय कृष्ण के सामने खड़ी हो जाएगी या कृष्ण चले जाएंगे गैया के पास और उसके स्तन के नीचे मुख कर देंगे और ऊपर से दूध की चुआ ये शाम वृक्ष है वृक्ष में के नीचे कृष्ण जाएंगे तो छाया और हो सकता है कि फल भी गिर जाए डाली झुक जाए किंतु कृष्ण जान नहीं हुआ नहीं ये लोग जा सकते स्वतंत्रता नहीं है इसलिए ये शांत रस के उदाहरण है किंतु ब्रज का शांत ऐसा नहीं है एक तो ब्रज में शांत ऐसा है नहीं वहां की गाय बत्सल रस वाली बछड़े सख रस वाली वृक्ष सख रस और लताएं वो मधुर रस वाली विशेष तो कहते हैं शांति ममता बुद्धि नहीं है ममता बुद्धि ममता से सेवा की पास ना होती अब इसको और भी समझो सनत सनंदन सनत कुमार ये शांत रस कृष्ण में इनकी कृष्ण से इनका क्या संबंध है 
शाखा है कि क्या है ये उसकी ममता नहीं है और ममता नहीं है तो संबंध का विकास भी नहीं इसलिए सनक सनंदन इतने ऊंचे होते हुए भी उनको शांत रखता है सुखदेव स्वामी को भी पहले व्यास जी से पहले उनको शांत रस में रखा पीछे व्यास जी की कृपा से आत्मा रहस्य मुनियो निर्गंथा उत्तम प्रबंध तो है तो तुम उत्तम तभी से रस में आए जब ममता आ गई तब तो वो पड़ गया वैकुंठ में ऐश्वर्य ज्ञान युक्त दास प्रेम है किंतु यहाँ का दास भाव वैकुंठ का संकुचित है विकसित नहीं है अब चलो वहां ब्रज में वहां पर नंद बाबा के जो सेवक हैं कृष्ण को गोदी में लेकर के बेटा बेटा कह करके खिलाते हैं अपने कंधे पर ले चलते हैं और कृष्ण से खेलते हैं यहाँ का दासरस और वैकुंठ का दासरस में बहुत अंतर है वैकुंठ वाले सेवा नहीं कर सकते उनकी ममता नहीं नंद बाबा के सेवक में कृष्ण के प्रति ममता है इसलिए सेवा का विकास और भी देखो वार्ता और मथुरा में भी दास प्रेम है शाम इत्यादि जो उनके पुत्र हैं वो भी सेवक हैं दास ही ब्रह्मादि आधिकारिक देवता हैं और उद्धव इत्यादि भी एक तरह से दास हैं ये दास है ना परंतु उस ज्ञान में उस प्रेम में कुछ ऐश्वर्य ज्ञान का गंध मिला हुआ है किंतु ब्रज वाले में तो इस तरह से ब्रज प्रेम में ऐश्वर्य नहीं है कि माधुर जब द्वारा ढका हुआ है अच्छा भी इसलिए ब्रज का प्रेम वहां के सफा लोग वहां के माता पिता वहां की गोपियां उनका प्रेम ही कुछ अद्वितीय है ममता युक्त अधिकाधिक ममता चला है ममता के ऊपर में तात्म्य से उनका प्रेम का भी वैचित्र होता है Shri Gurudev summarizing the previous day's katha explained how in the discussion between Sri Roy Ramananda and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Roy Ramananda has suggested Varnashram Dharma, Karma Mishra Bhakti, giving up Varnashram Dharma, Jnana <coughs> Mishra Bhakti, Bhakti mixed with knowledge. And up until that point, 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied to every suggestion of Radha Ramananda with the words, Eho Bhaiya. This is external. Tell me something more. So, Radha Ramananda suggested, Jnana Shunya Bhakti. Devotional service which is completely devoid of Jnana. When Mahaprabhu heard this, he said, Eho Hai. This is all right. This is acceptable. But tell me about something superior. So slowly, slowly, they are progressing in their discussion through gradually increasing levels of conception of devotional service. So the question comes, why is it that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has accepted this suggestion of Jnana Shunya Bhakti? It was the first thing that he accepted and said, Eho Hai. Why? Because in this suggestion, the Sevya Sevaka Bhav, the mood of master and servant, or rendering service by one individual to the object of his service, is there. And the conception, which is Sarup Anubandi, related to the constitution of the living entity, is there. And there is some Seva Vasana, desire, but only a hint. This is only hinted at. In other words, the, be the beginning stage of devotional service. So, in summary, we can say that whatever there is, Aikya Gyan, knowledge of oneness, this is definitely an external conception. But where there is a hint of devotional service and the constitution of the living entity, this is acceptable. So this is the beginning of the discussion of bhakti. This has been accepted because this suggestion is bhakti anukul, favorable for devotional service. It contains some sambandha jnana. So by this jnana shunya bhakti, devotion which is devoid of knowledge, Bhagavan becomes controlled. Rai Ramananda suggested the verse, Jnane Prasa Muda Pasya Namanta Eva. At the end of the verse it says, Ye Praya Sao Dicha Ditopya Sitais Jalukyam, which means that the Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is Ajita, unconquerable. He cannot be controlled by anyone. But by Harikata he becomes Mukta. He forgets everything and he becomes controlled. Just as by the influence of a mantra, one type of invocation, a person can be brought under control of the person who is chanting the mantra. So similarly, by hearing and speaking Harikata, Bhagavan becomes Mukta, forgets everything and comes under the control of that devotee. So even though this point has been suggested and established by this verse spoken by Lord Brahma, still, there is one topic which is not clear from this verse. What is that? Is it that if someone sits down and they listen to Harikata, at once, there and then, Bhagavan becomes under their control? Is it correct? Or will it take some time? Or are other factors involved? So, by hearing Harikata, the chitta, one's consciousness, it becomes purified from the modes of mature nature and peaceful, satisfied. So when the anartas are cleared, almost all cleared, then the very strong Krishna Sevabhasana, strong desire to render a particular type of service to Sri Krishna awakens. In other words, first the living entity will have to do Guru Pad Ashray. They will have to take shelter of the lotus feet of a bona fide Guru. They have to render service, Bhajana Kriya. And gradually, their unwanted desires and misconceptions will be cleared and nishta will come, steadiness. And then, ruchi, taste, and then asakti, attachment. In this stage of attachment, a very slight awakening of genuine mamata, or possessiveness, for one's ishtadev will awaken. This is very important because Without mamata, then there's no love. 
Bhakti is of five types. Shanta, Dasa, Sakya, Vatsalya, and Madhurya. Neutral mood, service mood, friend's mood, parent's mood, and lover's mood. So these are, one after the other, uh, increasingly mm, uh, condensed, superior in terms of devotion. Why? Because the mamata, the possessiveness in each one is higher than the previous one. So, Shanta, this mood, the service in Shantaras, is the rati of Vaikuntha. Here there is Nishta. That means that the mind is attentive to Krishna. But there's no Mamata here, possessiveness. This Nishta, Krishna Nishta, is attention to Krishna, being fixed in mind upon Krishna, and not being attracted by anything else. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained to Srila Rupa Goswami the two qualities of this Shantarati. One is Krishnaika Nishtata, to be attentive only to Krishna. And the other symptom is Trishna Tyag, to completely renounce the thirst for anything other than Krishna. Trishna Tyag. So, what is praying? Srila Gurudev gave two examples of praying. A fish, just as a fish has attachment for water, or the chatak bird has attachment to the rain that falls at the time of Swati Nakshatra. And neither of them can live without the object of their attachment. So similarly, if there is praying, one cannot stay alive without the service of the object of one's love. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, being absorbed in the mood of Srimati Radhika, he said, Na prema kandosti durapa me haro, krandami so bhagya param prakashitam, bangsi balasana nalokanam vina, vibhami yat prana patangatam vritha. Oh, Radhika says, I have no prey. I don't even have a smell, slight scent of love. Hmm? Then why are you crying? Krandami so bhagya param prakashitam. Only I'm making a show of my good fortune. But really I have no love. Why? Because Bangsi Balasana Because without seeing the beautiful smiling face of Krishna holding the flute to his lips, I still maintain my life in this world completely worthless, without any meaning, like an insect is passing his life. So Prem has an attachment like this. Now, when we discuss Shantarati, some examples have been given. A cow is standing in the presence of Krishna. And Krishna approaches that cow, and the cow begins to, from the others, give milk in the mouth of Sri Krishna. Another example of Shantamud, a tree. A tree is standing, and when Krishna comes, the tree bows down, offers fruits and flowers and shade to Sri Krishna. So these examples have been given of Shantamud. But actually in Braja, there is no pure Shantamud actually. Because if Mamata is there, then Seva Vasana comes. And we see that all the apparently moving and non-moving living entities of Braj, they all render service to Krishna. The cows, they're in Vatsalya Bhav. They have a parental mood to Krishna. The calves, they have Sakya mood, friendship towards Krishna. And the trees also, they have a mood of friendship to Krishna. And the creepers that embrace the Tamal trees of Vrindavan, they have Madhurya mood towards Krishna. So when there's Mamata, possessiveness, then in the wake of that possessiveness, Seva Vasana, service, tendency comes, the desire to render service. So question comes, the four Kumars, what relationship do they have with Sri Krishna? They have Shantarati, so they don't have Mamata, and therefore, because of the absence of Mamata, then the Sambandha relationship does not flourish and develop. So even though they are very, very elevated, yet still they are in Shantarasa. Shukadeva Goswami also, in his first career, he was situated in Shantarati, but by the mercy of Vyasadeva, 
he became elevated to a higher stage, as described by the verse of Sutta Goswami, his disciple. Atmaramas Chamoneo, Negranta Apirukare, Kravantuit Kimbaktim, Itam Bhuta Ganofuri. So, in Vaikuntha, the Dasya mood which is present there, we have discussed Shantarasa related to Vaikuntha. Now, Dasya Rati in Vaikuntha, that Dasya Rati is Aishwarya Gyan Yukta, oh, completely mixed with Aishwarya Gyan. And therefore, this mood of, though there is a mood of service, it is somewhat restricted somewhat contracted, and it cannot flourish. So we see that in Vrindavan, there is also Dasi mood, servant's mood. But Krishna is a child, so he has no servants. They are the servants of Nanda Maharaj, the chief, chief of Raj. So those who are the servants, the Das of Nanda Maharaj, their mood towards Krishna is mixed with other moods, such as friendship and parental love. They will take Krishna in their lap and they will call him, Oh my son, oh my son. And they will play with him in so many ways. So if we can compare the Dasya Bhav of Vrindavan with the Dasya Muda of Vaikuntha, we'll see there's a very vast difference between the two. Right. 